Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at some J uh, well, one jQuery utility, which is in array. Now, if you've uh, written code in PHP or any other web development backend language, you'll know that you can check for a particular element by supplying uh, the element uh, value. Um, and this will check uh, whether it's in an array. So you have uh, a few functions in different languages that will do this. However, we can do this in the front end with jQuery. Now this can be done in JavaScript uh, alone as well, uh, but in jQuery we make it particularly easy. Now the first thing I've done is gone ahead and include uh, this file util.js, which just stands for utilities.js, uh, and I have uh, have this open in my text editor so we can make use of this code on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the in array uh, utility first, and then we'll go ahead and create a very short application uh, that will utilize this function. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for the document to be ready. So this is what we would usually do uh, in our uh, jQuery code. Uh, once the document has loaded and it's ready, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, initialize or create an array. So I'm going to give this, uh, well, I'm going to create a variable, and I'm going to give this uh, a value of names. The uh, array name is names. Now inside these square brackets, we can supply different values. So I'm going to give this three names, and I'm just going to fill in the data here. So Alex, Billy, and then Dale. Okay, so now what we can do is we can use the... Um, in array utility to check whether a particular element is in an array. So for example, if we were to specify Alex in this, uh, it would return that uh, we have got something in an array. Now it's important to know what the uh, function, if you like, if you want to call it a function, actually returns. Let's say we were to use this utility and uh, supply the value Alex. Now we would actually retrieve the value zero back from this. And the reason this is important is because when you're putting this into an if statement condition, you need to know which values it's returning or you'll get inaccurate results. So if we were to go ahead and search uh, in the array for Billy, it would return the value 1, and that's because it's at a key index of 1. So it's no good just putting the in array utility inside a condition, because it may still return 0, and in this case the block wouldn't run. So uh, let's go ahead and demonstrate this. I'm going to create uh, an if statement, and this condition will be uh, it's jQuery.in array. Uh, remember in this case we have uh, a capital A and a small i as well as the jQuery uh, with a small j and a big Q. Uh, so it is case sensitive so you need to make sure you're working uh, with the correct case. And inside of here we're going to supply two parameters. The first one is the value that we're looking for, so the value of uh, an element. So I'm going to type, go ahead and type in Alex. In fact we'll go ahead and type in Billy first. Uh, and then I'm going to, uh, after the second parameter, supply the names variable. So we're looking for this value Billy inside of names. Now usually you would uh, just be allowed to say, you know, with normal functions, use this condition in because it would probably, a function would probably return true or false. Uh, and you would expect in array to probably go ahead and just return true if it is found. So inside of this block, we'll go ahead and alert found. And you'll notice that we will return uh, this alert because uh, it will have been found. However, the only reason we're going to actually alert out now is because Billy is at key 1. If we were to change this a bit later to Alex, we wouldn't get this alert box out. So let's go ahead and refresh. And you can see we've got a dialog box saying found. Uh, let's go ahead and change this value now to Alex and see what happens. Remember, this function will now return 0. Let's refresh and you see nothing happens. So we need to uh, check this uh, that it doesn't equal to a particular value and this value is minus one. If a, a key is not found in a, uh, an array or an element isn't found in an array, this function here, this in array function will return minus one. So we want to say uh, where it doesn't equal minus one. And in this case, it will uh, you know, return alert regardless of the fact that Alex is at position 0, because 0 doesn't equal minus 1. So now when we refresh, you see we have the found dialog box. OK, let's go ahead and create a sample application. I'm going to get rid of this code here, and I'm going to return to index.php. And we'll just go ahead and type out uh, a form, a, a quick and basic form. Uh, I'm going to have an input type with text, so we're going to allow the user to enter some text. And I'm going to give this an ID of name. 
Just after this, I'm going to create a button. So input type button. And the value of this, I'm just going to say check. So the ID of this, we could just call check. So now we can create an event handler for check. Uh, and then pick up the value that's been entered into the name and then go ahead and put that into an if statement So we're creating something that the user can actually use So the first thing we want to do inside here is we want to um, create an event handler for our check button So we say check dot click and inside here We want to go ahead and create a function pull that down a bit so it's easier for us to uh, write inside or to view and once we've um, once we've clicked the text box, we want to go ahead and uh, set the variable name um, of the uh, value of inside of this uh, text field. So let's go ahead and create a new variable called name, and that's going to be equal to the value of our name text box. So that's dot val. Quite simple. So now that we've stored this name, we can go ahead and utilize this in array utility in jQuery and check whether this name that the user has entered is actually inside this array. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and just alert out name just to check that everything's working. I'll go ahead and refresh and type in a name here. Click check and that gives us the value back. So we know that we're passing the value into this name variable. Okay, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, perform an if statement. And this if statement is going to be jQuery.inArray. And then we supply the two parameters. The first one is the name that we're looking for, and then the uh, array name. Now, if this doesn't equal minus one, we can go ahead and alert out something. Otherwise, we want to go ahead and alert something. So essentially what we're doing is if the if the element has been found, we want to alert something. If it hasn't been found, we also want to alert something. And this is just going to be name and appending on um, is in the array. And for the fact if it hasn't, you know, if, if this returns anything else than minus one, uh, we're going to go ahead and say uh, name plus uh, is not in the array. Okay, so now let's go ahead and test this. When we refresh, uh, we can type in a name. So I'm gonna type in Alex, and you'll see it says Alex is in the array. Uh, let's go ahead and type uh, another name that's in that array. So Billy, click check, Billy is in the array. Uh, now let's go ahead and type a name that isn't actually in the array, click check, and it tells us that it's not in the array. So lastly, why might you use this? Well, you might want to store, say, something that the user has given on the front end, uh, either temporarily inside of uh, a, an array in JavaScript on the front end of your document, uh, rather than transferring the data, for example, to PHP uh, or another web development language. So using arrays saves time. So you can go ahead and create an array like this and add elements to an array as you usually would. Uh, and then you can use this in array. There are some other functions uh, such as is array uh, and make array, which will convert arrays, but we're not going to be covering them because um, I think the in array is probably the most used utility uh, as part of this jQuery set. So that's just a quick demonstration of in array and how you can check values inside a specific array with jQuery.